So there we showed the exporting is one way to get a Rhino file into as a AutoCAD file. Um, if there's export, there should also be import. Um, what we're going to do is to go to AutoCAD, right? And Well, actually, let's go to Rhino first. So the file that you saved, let's do this. Um, we will save this file, save as, and we'll put it as example floor plan 2021 oh whoops 10 06 okay I'll just keep that there okay now I'm going to take this thing and just get rid of some of these stuff delete just so that I have whatever I have as the floor plan on there what I'm going to do is to kind of file I'm going to save this as well save as example B let's just say so once you did all your design and stuff and all you have is a floor plan or make 2d type drawing um, we could just simply import your Rhino file directly into AutoCAD file and sometimes that works a little bit better so make sure that you have this thing and just say file save so that only thing in your Rhino drawing is your floor plan there okay uh, what we're going to do now is to start up AutoCAD again and open up a new session so you could either up open up a new session or just go to the plus symbol here and go ahead and do our units deal units make sure you type in architectural and the rest of it I guess it doesn't really matter for this stage of the game so we'll just say okay so when we got this uh, drawing we export it from Rhino into an AutoCAD format. This time what we're going to do is to import directly from Rhino to an AutoCAD format. All right, so for to do that, you open up a new session and then go to file pull down menu and then find yourself where it says import. And with that import Go ahead and look for where you put that file. My file, my file, original file that I saved is a 3DM. I placed it into my 101 file. So what I have to do is get retrieve that from that location. So there we go. This PC, H Kuroki for me, and then find my 121 file. Go to where it's located and then look for where it says right right here we're gonna have to ask for a uh, 3dm file so you should find something that says Rhino right down there I don't I think it just fell off the screen so if you expand that it should say Rhino right there 3dm file when you click on that all the Rhino files will show what I'm gonna do is to go to the uh, example floor plan B is what I made right where it's just the drawing select that and there it is and then I'm gonna say open and this it's telling me that it's working on this thing and if you pay attention down here it should when it's all done it should tell you it should bring you a notice that says okay your file's been written right here if you pay attention it'll say import file processing is complete and all you have to do is open up this file and it should be open okay Again, since we 
we were off the zero zero uh, origin point, we're going to have to zoom extends and there is my drawing. So this one I could save it as uh, floor plan test import. O1 and save it in the AutoCAD format and there it is. Again, it, uh, if you pay attention to these line work, it is looking at click and plane interiors. Uh, the color is 8. I don't know why it's 8, but it is. Again, I'm going to take this thing and turn it into the zero, zero layer. And color by layer would be best. Okay, so I have two files now, basically the exact same thing except one of it I've exported it, one of it I imported. Usually importing works a little bit better than exporting. I don't know why that is. Sometimes the line work comes out a little bit better on that, especially if you have curved, curved, curved lines and all. So um, we'll kind of experiment using one of these. Okay.